In this video, we're going to talk about cross elasticity of demand. So cross elasticity of demand tells you what happens to demand for one good when there's a change in the price of another good. And so basically it can tell you whether two goods are substitutes or whether they're complements. And so you calculate the cross elasticity of demand by taking the percentage change in quantity demanded of the one good and then dividing it by the percentage change in price of the other good. And if the number that you get is positive, then that means that the two goods are substitutes. And if the number you get is negative, then it means that the two goods are complements. So let's walk through an example. Let's pretend that you are the president of a professional baseball team and you decide that you're going to raise the price of hot dogs, which are a popular uh, food item sold at, at baseball games, by 20%. So you're going to increase the price of hot dogs by 20%. And so you do that, and then there's a 25% increase in the quantity of hamburgers that are demanded at the baseball games, but there's a 40% decrease in the quantity of beer demanded at the baseball games in response to this 20% increase in the price of hot dogs, right? So basically, the price of hot dogs went up by 20%, and then that had a 25% increase in hamburgers demanded, 40% decrease in beer demanded. And so now we can go and we can calculate the cross elasticity demand for hamburgers with respect to hot dogs. And we can calculate the cross elasticity of demand uh, for beer with respect to hot dogs. And when I say with respect to hot dogs, I mean that there was a 20% increase in the price of hot dogs. And we want to say, how does that affect demand for hamburgers? How does it affect demand for beer? And so if we take the 25% increase in the quantity of hamburgers demanded, so let's, I'm going to change colors here. So we've got the cross elasticity demand for hamburgers. We say, well, what's the percentage change in demand? Well, there's a 25% increase. I'll put a little positive sign there so you know it's, it's an increase in the quantity of hamburgers demanded. And then we had a 20% increase in the price of hot dogs. Okay, so that equals 1.25. And what is relevant here? This is positive. This is positive, so it means that the two goods are substitutes. Think about it. What this is saying is that hot dogs became more expensive. And what happened to demand for hot hamburgers? It went up. So people substituted and say, I'm not going to buy a hot dog. I'm going to buy a hamburger. And so that's when we say that this, this cross elasticity demand is positive, the two goods are substitutes. Now let's look at the cross elasticity demand for beer. So what happened to the demand for beer when there was a 20% increase in the price of hot dogs? Well, demand for beer went down by 40%. Okay, it went down by 40%. So I'm going to say negative 40% divided by, and what do we have? We had a 20% increase in the price of hot dogs. 20% increase in the price of hot dogs. So we take that, that's negative two. And so this is a negative number. We've got a negative two. And so that means that the two goods are complements. That means, and when I say the two goods are complements, I mean that hot dogs and beer, based on this fact that th this number is negative, hot dogs and beer are typically consumed together. And so if you increase the price of hot dogs by 20%, it's leading to a decrease in the quantity of beer demanded, right? So even though the price of beer hasn't changed, people buy hot dogs and beer together. So if you make hot dogs more, more expensive, people are going to buy less beer. And so that explains why this number is negative, that the goods are complements. 